what an evening. Mm. It is so beautiful. It's really calm. It's beautiful blue skies. We've got lovely swirly clouds. You know those really high up clouds have a really high chance of lighting up post sunset. Those beautiful red, orange and purple colours. Well, we've got them tonight. And tonight is probably going to be my last video as part of the water photography challenge. And one location that I haven't gone to throughout this challenge is the coastline, purely because I wanted to do something a little bit different to my norm, but I couldn't not do the water photography challenge without coming to the coast. Last night we had an incredible sunset, which you will see in a video in a week or two's time. And tonight I'm keeping everything crossed that we get another good sunset. Let's get the final water photography challenge video under my belt and see what I can capture. And if you haven't participated yet, this video should be going out on Sunday evening, which means you've got two days left to submit your images should you wish to do so. why I'm walking around with my boots on. There's not going to be that many nice warm nights left probably as we head towards autumn. So the best thing I can do is take them off and enjoy a little bit of grounding and earthing on the beach. Oh, that's cold. I don't like to get my hopes up too much on nights like tonight, but just to give you an idea of why I'm feeling so excited this evening. And the reason is because it's low tide. We've got these beautiful pools of water. There is still a bit of a breeze in the air, but I'm expecting that to drop to nearly nothing as we get to bang on sunset, which is about an hour away now. The clouds, we've got these beautiful high up clouds that I've already mentioned. These are the ones that tend to light up that beautiful colour that you get uh, post sunset, you know, that beautiful purples and oranges and reds. And on top of that, we also have this open band on the horizon where when the sun dips as low as it can go, it's where you get the most intense orange light. So tonight is looking very hopeful for beautiful reflections in these pools of water, which ties in very nicely with the water theme. A potentially a very bright orange glowing sunset and then after that orange glowing sunset there's a very high chance providing the clouds stay as they are right now which I appreciate an hour away they could change quite a bit but if they stay the way they are just now bearing in mind it's not particularly windy they shouldn't go too far they could light up and create something of real beauty. So tonight is looking very promising and this is something to look out for when you're out doing this style of photography in these locations where you've got a very clear view of the horizon like you do here at the coast. You can predict a little bit what the chances are of the sunset being good or not is. And that's my thought processes tonight and how I'm predicting how this evening could potentially unfold. At this point in filming, things were getting really exciting. Unfortunately, this is also the point when the wind got up. Usually this wouldn't be an issue, but as I forgot to put the wind protector on my microphone, the audio was unbearable to listen to. But many photographers will buy ND graduated filters. So instead of listening to me talking about how my filters were not having the effect I wanted, Here's a slideshow of some zoomed in images I captured of the birds flying past the sunset.
the sun's now set. It went down really, really quickly tonight. So it's now a waiting game. I'm expecting, I'm hoping, should I say, I'm not expecting. If we have expectations, we always lead to disappointments, don't they? But I am hoping that in the next 20 minutes or so, some of those clouds are going to light up. But unfortunately, some of them have now disappeared. But I'm hoping that some of them are still going to give us a good enough show. And while I'm waiting for that time to materialise, for 20 minutes to half an hour to, to come about, I'm putting, I'm putting my, uh, my, my boots back on because it's getting a little bit chilly now. now I'm going to go for a wee wonder and try and find a nice little S-curve or a nice inlet of water leading towards some of these beautiful clouds. This is a bit frustrating. I found this beautiful channel of water here. It's absolutely stunning with this really, well, quite tall lip of sand going around it. But it looks at its best in that direction where we're facing back at the village, which is a very untidy, industrial looking background. I decided to turn around and make the most of the more natural looking scene. I used an ND filter to help with the exposure and found a small piece of seaweed to act as some foreground. I wasn't overjoyed with this image, but at least I was able to capture something from this beautiful light. I said I wasn't going to have any expectations for tonight but I really did think that those clouds that we had a minute ago were going to light up fiery red. There was a few moments there where they became quite orange but it was like a subtle orange. You know like that subtle orange you get before they really kick off. And I was waiting and waiting. It literally, it was a matter of five minutes, maybe ten minutes at the most. And you know, usually it gets brighter and brighter before it fades, but tonight it went straight from a subtle orangey glow to like nothing. Which is, is, is such a shame because tonight looked so promising. But it's just a, a good example, I think, this evening of even if you think you know how a shoot is going to turn out, there's never any guarantees. And tonight looked very promising and it hasn't ended particularly promising. But yeah, a good lesson there, I think, for us all. You never, you can never predict 100% what the weather's going to do. And this is why you've got to get out and just be in it to win it when it comes to photography. Sometimes the best evenings don't materialise as you think they will. And sometimes the worst looking evenings end up being some of the best. But you just don't know until you head out there and try. And tonight just wasn't the night that I thought it was going to be. Well, that's the end of another vlog. Join me next time when I'll be showcasing your images. The images that have been the most creative and exciting throughout this water challenge. And then the video after that, I'll be announcing the next challenge. So loads of exciting things coming up and things for you to look forward to. It's a shame this evening didn't turn out quite as I'd envisaged it would, but it's, it's always just a joy to get out. No matter what happens, being out in nature, you know, it's, it's, it massively beats anything else really massively. So yeah, it's just been lovely to be out this evening and yeah, I look forward to sharing what is to come in the next few weeks because I've got some very exciting content for you that's already been filmed so I already know it's good and it's, it's really exciting. It's really, really exciting actually. Some different stuff, some interesting stuff and I can't wait to share it all with you. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. <laughs>